Welcome back, everyone. Today's read aloud is If You Made a Million by David M. Schwartz. Congratulations! You've earned a penny. It will buy anything that costs one cent. Well done! You've made a nickel. One nickel is worth the same as five pennies. Hooray! Now you have a dime. One dime has the same value of two nickels or ten pennies. Excellent. For your hard work, you've earned a quarter. One quarter is the same amount of money as five nickels, or two dimes and one nickel, or three nickels and one dime. Or twenty five pennies. Wonderful. You are now a dollar richer. One dollar is worth as much as four quarters, or ten dimes, or twenty nickels, or one hundred pennies. You could use Your dollar to buy one hundred pieces of penny candy, or twenty five cent balloons, or ten stickers for ten cents each, or four rubber balls to cost that cost twenty five cents apiece. Or perhaps you'd like to save your dollar. You could put it in the bank, and a year from now it will be worth a dollar five. The bank wants to use your money and will pay you five cents to leave your dollar there for one year. The extra five cents is called interest. If you waited ten years, your dollar would earn sixty-four cents in interest just from sitting in the bank. Are you interested in earning lots of interest? Wait, twenty years, and one dollar will grow to two dollars and seventy cents. Delicious! You've baked a cake and earned five dollars. You could be paid with one five-dollar bill or five one-dollar bills. It doesn't matter; they have the same value. Stupendous! You've made ten dollars. How would you like to be paid? One ten-dollar bill, two five-dollar bills, ten one-dollar bills. Or perhaps one five and five ones. Take your pick. They're all worth ten dollars. If you prefer coins, you can have a five-foot stack of pennies. That's one thousand of them. Or a fifteen-inch stack of two hundred nickels. You could also be paid with one hundred dimes, which would stack up to just over five inches. Or you can receive your ten dollars as a three and a quarter-inch pile of forty. Quarters. You could spend your ten dollars on ten kittens, or one thousand kitty snacks, or you could take your mom to the movies. But maybe you'd rather save your money. If you leave your ten dollars in the bank for ten years, it will earn six dollars and forty cents in interest. And you will have sixteen dollars and forty cents. If you leave it there for fifty years, your ten dollars will grow to a hundred and thirty-eight dollars and two cents. You've worked hard to earn one hundred dollars. You've decided to spend it on a plane ticket to the beach. You could pay with a hundred-dollar bill, or Two fifty-dollar bills, or five twenty-dollar bills, or many other combinations: six fives, three tens, and two twenties, for instance. Paying with pennies, you'll need ten thousand of them, and they'll make a fifty-foot stack. You've worked long and hard, and you've earned a thousand dollars. You're going to buy a pet. You could pay with coins or bills, 
If you don't like the idea of carrying a thousand dollars around with you, you can put it in the bank and pay for the hippo with a check. The check tells your bank to give one thousand dollars to the person who sold you the hippo. Here's how it works. You give the check to the person who sold you the hippo, and he gives it to his bank, and his bank sends it to a very busy clearinghouse in the city, and the clearinghouse tells your bank to take $1,000 out of your money. After your bank does that, the clearinghouse tells the hippo salesman bank to add $1,000 to his money so he can take it and use it whenever and however he likes. Maybe he'll use it to raise more hippos. If you used pennies to purchase a $10,000 Ferris wheel, someone might not be too happy about it. Even if you used $10,001 bills, they would be mighty hard to handle. Probably a check would be best. Magnificent! You've earned $50,000, and you've just read about a well-worn, unloved, but perfectly fixable castle for sale. The price? One hundred thousand dollars. The castle costs one hundred thousand dollars, and you have only fifty thousand dollars. So you're fifty thousand dollars short, but you can still buy the castle. You could use the money you earned as a down payment and ask a bank to lend you the rest. Then you would pay the bank back a little at a time, month after month, for many years. But the amount you must pay the bank will be more than what you borrowed. That's because the bank charges for lending you money. The extra money is called interest. Just like the interest the bank pays to you when it uses your money. Now you're using the bank's money, so you must pay interest to the bank. If you have some very expensive plans, you may have to take on a tough job that pays well. If you think ogre taming would be an exciting challenge, you can have fun and make a great deal of money too. Of course, you may not enjoy taming obstreperous ogres or building bulky bridges or painting purple dots or pots. Enjoying your work is more important than money, so you should look for another job or make less expensive plans. Congratulations, you've made a million. A million dollars. That's a stack of pennies 95 miles high, or enough nickels to fill a school bus, or a whale's weight in quarters. Would you prefer your million in paper money? Even a paper million is a hefty load. A million one-dollar bills would weigh 2,500 pounds and stack up to 360 feet. What's the smallest your million could be? One-hundred-dollar bills are the largest made today. And it would take 10,000 of them to pay you for your feet of ogre taming. But a check for one million dollars would easily fit in your pocket or purse. And it's worth the same as the towering stacks of pennies or bills. Now you can afford to buy tickets to the moon. Or you can purchase some real estate for the endangered rhinoceroses. But... If you'd rather save your million than spend it, you could put it in the bank where it would earn interest. The interest on a million is about $1,000 a week or $143 a day or $6 an hour or 10 cents a minute just from sitting in the bank. If you keep your million, you could probably live on the interest without doing any more work for the rest of your life. You might like that or you could find it rather dull. Making money means making choices. So, what would you do if you made a million? The end. We hope you enjoyed today's read aloud of If You Made a Million. Until next time, see you real soon.
Bye.